I really want to advance the relationship with women in our communities through education, through existing organizations with which we partner, because I really feel that if we put these women at the center of everything we do, ask their opinions, listen to the way they approach health, we really will be closer to better health outcomes and to you know, the ultimate goal of health equity. My name is Dr. Stacy Rosen. I'm the Senior Vice President for Women's Health in the Katz Institute for Women's Health at Northwell. The mission for the Katz Institute for Women's Health is to look at women's health in a unique way. We develop clinical programs that are uniquely focused on women's healthcare needs. We spend a lot of time doing community programming because we know our communities are different and that how one approaches healthcare is important to staying healthy. And finally, we do a tremendous amount of research because if we don't ask questions about how to make women healthier in each of our communities, we do them a disservice. At the Katz Institute, we focus on four priority pillars. The first is clinical programming, and we look to go across multiple clinical disciplines to develop programs that are uniquely addressing women's health needs. So for instance, our Women's Heart Health Program knows that women and heart disease is completely different than the male model of heart disease. Our women's sports program appreciates that women, when it comes to sports injuries or avoiding bone fractures, are completely different than men. Women's cancers are different than men. And it's all really based on disparities from century, uh, decades to a century, of women not receiving the health care they, they, they needed. So our second pillar is research, and we joke that we don't want to leave women's health to chance. Our focus on sex and gender-specific research, the whole focus of specifically asking the question every time you study a, a disease, a prevention strategy, a diagnostic tool, a, a therapeutic option, of specifically saying what's different between men and women uh, will have an impact on the health of communities and women throughout the world. The third pillar is community because at the end of the day, your health and the health of your family is only 20% related to what goes on in a doctor's office or in a hospital or an emergency department. And for us to partner with our communities, number one, impacts on health equity, which is an enormous priority at CATS, but also allows us to keep our, base, our, our communities healthier. So we partner with existing community organizations, whether it's a faith-based initiative or something like Girl Scouts, to bring in girls and their, their parents, often women, to really help uh, educate and, and create um, a true partnership with our communities. And we know that when women are healthy, families are healthier and communities are healthier. So our goal is to go after the women that way. Our fourth pillar is education, and it's both professional. We doctors, clinicians, scientists learn from each other, so we do a lot of professional education, but we also do community-based and lay audience education. Um, I still practice cardiology, and when a patient comes into my office with a, a, a posting or a newsletter or something he, he she read in a, in a magazine and asks me questions about things, I'm thrilled because they are then involved with their care Success for us is looking at women, seeing where there are gaps in their care, and developing new opportunities and new programs. So one example is what we call our cardio-oncology program. So women who develop breast cancer, one of the most fearsome cancers for women, are at risk for developing cardiac problems related to the treatments. So instead of waiting for women to develop these symptoms or fearing them, we identify these women from the very start, at the time of their diagnosis. And we've got this extensive multidisciplinary program to prevent, to optimize their health while they're going through breast cancer treatment. And to make sure that when they're in the survivorship period, that they still do everything they can to prevent heart disease, what is really their number one killer. The importance of what we are doing now on, on a larger scale, you know, throughout the nation, throughout the world, is, is, is critical. You know, again, our mission is really focused on eliminating disparities. One of our favorite quotes here in the Katz Institute for Women's Health comes from Kofi Annan, the Secretary General of the United Nations, in 2002. When women are fully involved, families are healthier, 
they are better fed, their income, savings, and reinvestment goes up. And what is true of families is true of communities and eventually of whole countries. So that quote to me says everything about why Northwell and the Katz Institute for Women's Health focuses on women's health. Certainly um, going back to keeping women healthy has an enormous impact on their families and on communities. <music>